my boys and girls, I just have to tell you that I really like fall. I enjoy the cool weather. I enjoy the beautiful colors in the trees. And I like pumpkins. And you can see that I brought some pumpkins with me. But did you know that as you carve a pumpkin face, you can say a prayer that helps you remember all the ways that Jesus loves you and how you can follow him better. So let's start with the top. As I cut the top out, I can pray, Dear Jesus, open my mind so I can learn about you. We need to be open to what God wants to do in our lives. The next thing is to pull out all the yucky stuff on the inside. And as I do, I'm going to pray, take my sin. Sin is anything that goes against what God wants. Take my sin and forgive the wrong things that I do. Look at all that yucky stuff. That's like the sin that's inside of us. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the eyes. And as I cut the eyes, I'm going to say, open my eyes so your love I will see. He has given us so many wonderful things and we need to be able to see them, to love them and appreciate them. And he gave them to us because he loves us so much. The next thing is my nose. And as I cut my nose out, I'm going to pray. I'm sorry for the times I've turned up my nose at what you've given me. To turn up your nose means to say you don't like something. And when we're not thankful and we grumble about things that we have or we don't have, that's like going against God. We need to be thankful for all the things that we do have. And when we remember that Jesus died on the cross for us, that's the greatest thing that God has given to us. The next thing I'm going to cut is my ears. Now we need ears oh, to be able to hear. And I'm going to pray, open my ears so your word I will hear. And we talk about God's word, that's the Bible. We need to be able to hear God's word. And the last thing I'm going to cut is the, my mouth. Now. Let's pray. Open my mouth to tell others you're near. Jesus told his disciples that they would no longer catch fish, but they would be catching men. He wants us to be able to be fishers of men as well. We can be fishers of men and use our mouths to tell other people about Jesus. The last thing I want to do is I can show you how clean this is on the inside and I'm going to put a light in there. And as I put my light in there, I'm going to pray, let your light shine in all I say and do. Amen. When we are open to God's word in our lives, he can shine through us so others will be drawn to Jesus as well. We'll look different and some other people will want to love Jesus the way we do. Now, just as I chose this pumpkin, God chooses you. Just as I cleaned the inside and outside of the pumpkin, God can clean the inside and outside of you. Just as I changed this pumpkin on the inside and outside, God can change you on the inside and outside. And just like I put a light in this pumpkin, God can put his light in your heart. Let's say the whole prayer together. Dear Jesus, open my mind so I can learn about you. Take all my sin and forgive the wrong things that I do. Open my eyes so your love I will see. I'm sorry for times I've turned up my nose at what you've given me. Open my ears so your word I will hear. Open my mouth to tell others you're near. Let your light shine in all I say and do. Amen. If you want a copy of this pumpkin prayer, you can go to the website at thirstchurch.org and you can print out some bookmarks with this pumpkin prayer that you can have for yourself and share with other people. Have a great week, everyone.